Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue chez Jeff Solo. And as you can see, I've been a bit busy like. <laughs> Basically what's happened is, uh, I had a few shandies when I was on holiday. Um, I was in my girlfriend's parents, they've got kind of like a social club next door, like a working man's club. I had a couple of beers and... Uh, one ten pound at the bingo, that was good. And then I thought when I come home, after having three or four beers, I would uh, surf eBay. And uh, this is the result of that. Uh, <laughs> but I don't regret it because it's not a bad wee haul. Um, I say wee haul, it's fucking huge. Um, but yeah, it was pretty ch Oh, there's my hands. I, I, again, I'm not on the tripod, so it's going to be a bit wobbly. I really don't like doing them when it's wobbly because... I, I, I watch people's videos when it's wobbly and it does my nutting. So, unfortunately, because of the, the sheer mass of this stuff, um, I have to do it in my hands. Uh, without the tripod, obviously. Um, a few things before we get cracked into this toy haul. Um, I got everything here in this one job lot. So I'll just let you peruse that. Yeah, the whole lot. Um, I'll tell you what I paid for at the end. <laughs> Uh, right, so, but I, the, in my last video, I forgot to show you a couple of pickups that I picked up in the car boot. I left them in the boot of the car and forgot about them. Uh, they're pretty cool, too. Uh, the first thing I got into another room, look, it's like changing rooms with Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Well, here we have all these toys. Oh, we're in the kitchen. Uh, here we go. I got this uh, Megatron, animated Megatron. I paid uh, two quid for him. I got this, which I thought was awesome. It's a Terminator Salvation Cyberskin Generator, uh, brand new in the box, um, only cost a fiver, which I thought was really good. It's not the Kenner one, it's a, it's Playmates, yeah, Playmates, uh, but still pretty cool. I'm going to crack that open at some point and see what it's all about. Um, I don't know the date on it, but hold on, maybe the date's on the bottom here. 2009. So yeah, it must have been from, yeah. From Salvation, there it is. Of course, it says it on the box, Jeff. Uh, and then I also picked up this pencil case. It was 10p, brand new with tags. So I thought, cha-ching, we'll have that. So there you go, folks. Those those three pickups from the booter, which I completely forgot about. Right back into here. Let's go through it, shall we? <laughs> this could be a long video, so bear with me, and we'll try and fit everything in. Uh, we'll start at the end here. Now, shout out. Well, don't shout out because you'll look weird. Um, just sort of shouting out random toy names if you're watching this on a bus or something. It's fucking, it's, it's fast going! <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, but, you know, write them in the comments below. It would be really handy uh, if you can identify some of these things for me. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, a lot of it's battered, has to be said, but there are some nice little figures in here. So, we'll start off. Uh, that is a reboot figure. Uh, I'm not familiar with Reboot, uh, so I'm not really sure what his name is, or I've not really done any research into him, but he, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a Reboot figure. Uh, that one is Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys, which is now my favourite cartoon of all time, and I will definitely be picking up more of these chaps, because they are really cool, and uh, I love the concept, and I watched the first episode ever, I must have missed it um, when it came out, but oh, great, great cartoon, recommend it, so funny. Um... Then we got a turtle's vehicle missing a lot of parts. We got that piece there, which I think. Oh, that's a lot of glare coming from that window. Um, I don't know what that's from. If you could uh, maybe let me know, if you know, that'd be really great. Uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Uh, <laughs> this guy's um, obviously been repaired, and the person who's repaired him has put his legs on back to front. So he's the new, improved Leonardo, backwards Leo, the new figure from Mattel. No, it's not Mattel, it's Playmates that make those. Anyway, so I got him. Uh, this guy, which I didn't have, missing his tail, unfortunately, but still pretty cool. He'll do until I get an upgrade. Uh, Leo and Raph, Raph with his belt. Uh, unfortunately, this guy's broken, the leg's not in there, which is really annoying. Uh, I don't know, I'll keep the parts, probably. These bits are probably quite handy to keep. We'll see how we go with that. Um, a shredder and a splinter. It's pretty cool. We'll come back along here. We've got a Mumra here. Uh, we've also got this guy. <sighs> I have no idea what this guy is. Um, he's got like three legs. Some sort of alien looking chap. Uh, and on the back, where did I read it now? 
Was it on his feet? Oh, here we go. It is... Oh, <laughs> his leg keeps moving. 1984. Ravel. Strong... something? No, no idea what that is. <laughs> but really cool with all these legs. Wow-hoo! So that's pretty cool. So I got him. So if someone could help me out with him, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, this is a sidecar from a Batmobile... Batman thing. Uh, that's a Mars Attacks figure. Pretty cool. Um, a really battered Ghostbusters figure. Uh, Terminator figure missing the top part of himself. His face. Uh, then down here we've got this guy. I've no idea where he's from, so a bit of help required on that. A little Smurf from the 90s. Uh, a Gladiator contestant. A skateboard. I don't know. Um, and then down here we've got some Battle Beasts, which was cool. So a few of those. This guy unfortunately is missing his ear, but the rest of them are all pretty much intact. Uh, and I think there's only two or three of them that don't have their little... Well, in fact, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. And then we've got He-Man Vehicle, Masters of the Universe. A few Masters of the Universe figures. There's a modern one at the end there. Then a Street Shark, a Bendy Luke Skywalker, a Skeletor. Another... That's the New Adventures of He-Man. Or is it... What's it called? Mass of the Universe, new, event, new Adventures of Masters of the Universe or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really a fave with that. Uh, and then over here, we've got a Zorro figure. Uh, we've got some sort of Power Ranger-esque type fellas here. There's a crazy sort of robotic Mad Hatter type player. Uh, then over here, we've got a couple of Skeleton Warriors. Uh, up a bit, we've got... I don't know who that is, so help required on that chap. Uh, and then we've got Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. Coming back down again, there's more of the Power Ranger chaps. This guy, I have no idea. He's weird looking. <laughs> Some sort of rat guy. So help with him required, as is with him and him. I think these are all Power Rangers. Power Rangers. This guy's old too. This guy's really old. Well, I say really old. Where did I see his maker's mark? 1985. So yeah, a bit of help required of him. See vous play. Mon amis. Uh, then more Power Rangers here. This guy I'm not sure about either. No idea. Big brutey man. But he's absolute beast. Look at him. So yeah, him. Help required. Uh, then I've got uh, Bloth or Bloth from Pirates of Dark Water. I can't remember his name. Bloth or something like that. Uh, Toad Borg. Uh, a couple of knockoff guys. Sort of Master of the Universe knockoffs. This guy with a dragon's head. He's pretty cool. He's got an action. Oh, did he? Oh, no, but he, he's articulated. His legs move and his arms move. This guy's solid. Only his arms move and his head. Pretty cool, though. Um, that's from Rats, from Zoids. It's pretty cool. I had that as a kid, so I was chuffed to get that. Uh, that's a wee Chapmay kind of... 1994 Chapmay skeleton. A, a metal juggernaut. He doesn't have a make on him at all. But he's diecast, so that's cool. Uh, an Action Force figure, three Joes, G.I. Joes, um, some sort of skull, which I assume is from Mighty Max, a corp. Then over here is parts of the sewer playset. I don't have all the parts, obviously, <laughs> it's in really bad nick, but clean it up, should be smart. Um, also at the back here, I've got the turtle wagon, which, oh god, you can't see it, the glare's bad. There you go, it's, it's seen better days. All over it, it's got these blue Peter bringing by for leprosy <laughs> stickers all over it. So that must have been who was uh, sponsoring the turtles at the time. <laughs> don't know, the, the kids obviously gone mad for it, he's put them all over it. But I don't know, that's a work in progress, a little project. Um, I, I completely missed these figures, so I'll go back over here. We've got Space Precinct, guys. We've got a little... Um, Captain Scarlet Angel. We've got some Johnny Quest. Oodles of stuff, man. Oodles. Uh, what else have we not showed you? We'll go along. We've got Conan the Barbarian. Highlander. I think that's from uh, The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. This crazy guy who I also need some help with. Not a clue who he is. Uh, same with this guy. Not a scoob. And this. <laughs> and this. <laughs> um, that bike as well. That that kind of gun which fires feet. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, 
Yeah, these things as well. No idea what these are, but they're really cool. On the bottom it says uh, Toy Biz Incorporated 1996. And it's got some sort of crazy little fella on the front who's like connected to it. And they all plug in and plug out. It's a really cool wee little set there. I like it. But no idea what it's from. So a bit of help required on that. Uh, further down we've got this kind of big bug thing. Um, we've got another Zorro figure I assume. This guy I need some help with. Not a clue who he's supposed to be. Uh, some Disney figures. We've got Tarzan. Tarzan's pal. Some sort of green uh, genie type effort. Uh, Flash Gordon and uh, one of Ming's sort of soldiers. This guy who I think is Masked Rider. Well, let's turn it around that the right way so you can see it. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, that's Masked Rider. <laughs> Masked Rider, uh, Captain Planet Girl, uh, Superman. I think he's, oops, he's quite an old one, is he? It doesn't say. That's him. Uh, Gargoyle. It's pretty cool. Uh, this guy is awesome. It's like a, like a space cyborg pig. I love him. Uh, definitely want to pick up some more of those. They are awesome. So that's cool. Uh, some vintage Star Wars figures. A few there. Uh, a talking Robocop. He's pretty awesome. Uh, he is... He's vintage as well. I found the dates for all these. And, and I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. It is so hot. <laughs> I'm like literally drenched in sweat <laughs> trying to do this. Uh, I've got all the windows open, the door open. <laughs> uh, I can't find the date on him, but he's, he's in the 90s anyway. So that's him. Uh, this girl as well, might need a bit of help with her. Some sort of pixie F girl uh, with a glow-in-the-dark hand. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, then I've got some Transformers. I've got this guy. I, this hand, his other one might be in there. I'll have to check. But there's some sort of bear. Uh, this cool alligator, which I think is a knockoff Transformer or knockoff Gobot. It's super cool. Keeping that. Um, also over here, got this guy. Now, I have no idea how to transform him, but he's the Rhinox guy, but the original one from the Beast Wars. Uh, and then this little Gobot, which turns into some sort of lizard or something like that. He's pretty cool too. Um, a big, massive bag of accessories, which I haven't gone through yet. But I'm looking forward to doing that because uh, I saw there's a whole um, sort of helmet, spear and shield for the big massive monkey guy from um, Thundercats. And I needed all those accessories. So that's pretty cool. And uh, next door, some kind of junkers. It's like mask vehicles. Good for parts. But uh, yeah, that's that's about it, really. And then some little mask figures over there, too. Crash test dummies. Kind of a bat, these are all battered really. Uh, good for parts though, so I suppose, but uh, a couple of parts there and the little vehicle at the back. Then this vehicle here, not a Scooby Snack, what that is. <laughs> so if anyone could help me out with that, I'd appreciate it. Same with the blue bike, I assume it's from Power Rangers, but uh, not 100% sure. Some sort of turtles ramp <laughs> from Nickelodeon. <laughs> uh, and I think that's it, folks. So yeah, there's my humongous haul. That I picked up it came last week so yeah it cost me a hundred pound for the lot uh, which I thought wasn't bad after I've dug it out and you know there's way over a hundred figures here a hundred bits so at a pound each I think it would work out less than a pound each it's pretty good going so plus all the, the accessories so I thought that was pretty good um, I will be doing a collection update soon because I have when I've cleaned this up, I'm going to set all my turtles up in this. I've also got a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Chitara by Mezco. That was from a couple of years ago, but she's really cool. She has glow-in-the-dark eyes. Uh, it's a new addition, which I'll show you in the next video. Um, yeah, a few turtles figures, some new vintage ones, uh, some visionary stuff, uh, some new vintage Star Wars vehicles. It's all going on, man. It's all going on. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you all this stuff. Um, what do you think? Do you think I did alright for 100 bucks? I think I did okay. Um, I don't know if I can show you it came in this box. Honestly, the box is massive. It came in this box. Fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was cool. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.